it's Gail here. Um, as I've spoken about before, these are really difficult times that we're living through at the moment. Um, there's a lot of things happening around the world that are changing um, social aspects of things that are going on. And if you're in business in allied health, you're probably dealing with the NDIS as well. And I wanted to talk about my experiences um, because I feel like I've been feeling quite overwhelmed and angry and upset um, in my personal life and in my it's coming through into my work life from all of these different pressures that I'm feeling um, at times. And I've realized, um, I've actually just finished my Pilates class and I've just realized that I have been neglecting my self care in a big way. I have lists of things that I need. I need to do my Pilates every day. I need to drink enough water. I need to eat, you know, green foods like vegetables um, every day. Yeah, you know, all the things that we know are good for us. I need to exercise. I need to sleep enough. Um, but I've realized that A, I've been letting those things slide, but I need more than that as well in these moments and I've been feeling like I don't deserve to take care of myself because I haven't done all the things that I want to do and I know there's a lot of you out there that probably feel a bit like that that I'll just get through this report and then I can book a massage or I'll just I'll just do this extra bit of work and read another email and I'll just reply and then I can take a break and walk around the block uh, I'll just stay up a little bit later and get a few more things done uh, and then I'll go to bed or I'll just sit on the couch and veg out which isn't really helping if you're watching mindless TV instead of getting the rest that you need um, and in these challenging times it's actually when you need to give yourself more self-care even though it feels like the exact opposite of what you have time for now is when you need to actually give yourself more of what it needs to be to just be okay. Um, we're not talking about, you know, at, you know, in this moment being your absolute best, but what is it that you need to just be okay on a day-to-day -day basis and be able to show up in the world and serve your clients and be there for your family in the way that you need to be? What is it that you need to do to uh, really, really look after yourself and take care of your needs. I'd love to hear from you what sort of things that you are doing to take care of yourself. Are you getting enough self-care in? And I don't just mean massages. I mean the things that we know are good for us, um, whether that's getting enough exercise, setting boundaries and saying no to too many commitments, um, reducing the number of commitments you have, um, simplifying your life at home so that you don't have to deal with those kind of things, um, whether it's too many clothes or a cluttered house or, you know, all of those things that we know are good for us and make us feel better. What are the things in your life that you can do to take better care of yourself? Um, please share this. Our community needs to hear uh, the things that work for other people so we can maybe learn from each other and adopt new practices. And so as a whole, we can really be there for one another. Um, we can't do this type of work on our own. We need to be there for each other and support each other and make sure we're all okay. So um, share what's working for you. And if you're not feeling okay, I really encourage you to reach out and get support. Talk to a colleague, talk to um, a trusted friend or a family member, uh, call a support line, um, you know, do what you need to do to get the support you need and, you know, let me know, you know, you can send me a message or send me an email. Um, if you just need to talk to someone, um, if you don't have anyone else, um, we're all here for each other. So go and, go and just do what you need in the next, you know, five minutes to do something for yourself and take care of yourself in these really challenging times. Okay. Bye-bye.